Hey guys, we're gonna try a new rig out today. It's called the Triple Threat Rig. That's three jigs on one main line. See how it works for the crappy. Hey, stay with us and let's see how it works. What is happening people? Hey guys, glad you're back with us today. We're gonna do a little crappy fishing. We're on the lake today. It's uh, about 10 o'clock. We got a good movement period between about 10 and 12.30. So hopefully the fish will be cooperating. We got a new rig we're gonna try today. The triple threat rig. I'm gonna show you how to tie that uh, if you wanna use it. And uh, we're gonna see how it works out today. Water's fairly clear, so I'm using natural bait colors something that mimics, mimics a shad or some type of uh, minnow forage. Guys, we appreciate all the support we've been getting for this channel. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate the support we've been getting. Guys, let's go catch a fish. I have located an underwater brush pile. Brand new one. Looks like there's some fish on it. I'm gonna drop this hair triple rig jig down into uh, this brush pile, see what we catch. Well, as you can see, he liked that blue one there. Boom, that's a nice crappy, y'all. Caught him on that blue. Looks like another good crappy, y'all. Now you notice this rascal This rascal hit the black. He hit the black. Boom. Nice crack. Another good fish, y'all. Hey, and I'm just basically just I'm just dropping that jig. I've got three jigs on, so I don't want to be too aggressive in the brush. You know, that's another good crack here. Boom. I'm gonna swing this smoker in. Now I noticed they keying in on this black on the top. Notice that? That's the second one off of this pile. I've caught pretty crappy. Look at the colors on that guy. Wow, that's a good crappy. That's a 11, 11 and a half inch crappy. Boom. Now I made up two rigs. One with the hair jig and one with plastic. Now I've caught three fish on this one pile. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna switch. And I know you're gonna say, what are you gonna switch for, Sam? Well, I like to try different things. When I find fish that are biting, I like to try different lures, I like to try different colors, just to see if they hit it then, then I know that when things get tough, I can maybe switch to that color and it gives me a little more insight of what the fish actually want. Okay, real quick folks. So here's how to tie. Here's what the triple threat rig looks like. So this is a main line. So we're basically tying three jigs in a row. Now I've already tied these plastic lures. So that's a sixteenth. You'll come down the line. Approximately you're looking at you know nine inches, nine or ten. And there's the second lure. And I got that one roughly about 14 inches. I want this bottom one to be a little heavier than these two. 
and that way it pulls it down and it don't get hung up as bad and I'm gonna put that one a little deeper than this one and uh, I'll show you how to do that on some hair jigs and I'm gonna rig up a hair jig rig as well so stay with me on this one we're just gonna see the difference on how these fish react see here I got it looks like an eye got an eye jig two monkey milks and then I've got a gold and then I, that's the eighth ounce on the bottom so let's ease up here and try this one And it's a good, another good crappie. Good, good quality 10 inch crappie here. And you see he hit the monkey milk, the one in the middle. That's a good quality crappie right there. 10, 10 and a quarter inch fish. Boom. And again, and this is strange, there's three jigs here, and again, this crappie picked the middle jig, boom. Another good quality crappie, boom. Now we'll remind you, we're right on the peak of the movement period, peak of the bite period now, so I'm just kind of expecting fishing to pick up right around 12 o'clock. Okay, folks. So I've got this on my hat, and I hope you can see it. So right here is three hair jigs, two or sixteenths, this one and this one. This is my eighth. This will go on the this will go on the bottom. Six pound test line. And I'm gonna try to do this, hopefully, where you can see it. We're gonna do loop knots. So I'm gonna take off approximately 30 inches of line and start <clears throat> I'm going let's start with this first one we're gonna thread the uh, string through the line we're gonna come up about 30 inches you want to give yourself plenty of line we're gonna double it here I'm gonna come up about about two inches maybe three see the line is doubled Oops, line is doubled. I'm gonna just loop this, give it a flip once, twice, three. It went about four times. Now, hair jigs is a little tougher, so we're gonna run that jig back through this loop, just like that. We're gonna wet this. I'm gonna pull it down tight. Make sure it holds. Boom, there's our loop knot. There's the first jig. Second jig, we're gonna go with this blue. Now it doesn't matter what color. Sometimes I'll, you know, I'm just getting here today, starting. And so I'll put on multiple colors. And then if I see one, if they like this dark one the best, then I'll switch over to this dark one. Now we're gonna come, that's about nine and a half or 10 inches. So we'll come about nine to 10 inches. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come down below, double the line again. We'll come down about three inches and we're gonna loop this. One, two, three, doesn't matter. Four or five, three, three to five is good. That's a little too many. I got a little excited on that one, y'all. Keep your fingers here. Keep this loop here. Bring the head of the lure through. Wet it. Pull 
pull the knots out, make sure everything's tight. You want to try to get them the same length. This one got a little long, but that's okay. You want them far enough apart, they're not going to get connected. Now, this end's a little short, but that's okay. And we're going to just do a regular Albright knot here on the end, or polymer knot, whatever you're comfortable with. Go six. We're going to loop that. Back through the eye. Bite off the tag in. Boom. There's our thrip. There's our triple threat hair jig rig. And that looks good. That looks like a school of minnows. So hey guys. So there's the top jig, middle jig, and then the bottom jig. As you can see, this crappy hit the bottom jig. You noticed he didn't hit the other color, but he picked up on that. Another good quality crappy. Uh, you know, that crappy's 10 inches, 10 and a quarter inches easy. Boom, let's catch another one. All right, here we go again, guy. <laughs> he hit the middle jig again, boom. Ah, that's getting a little bit better right there, boom. Man, that's that's good quality fish right there, man. You can't you can't argue with that. All right, I'm switching back to the hair jig, just because. Oh. Now he was on the bottom one. Another good quality fish. Good 11 inch fish. Now he hit that bottom, that uh, silver. Well, that's the gray. That bottom gray. Oh. That's uh. And all of these hair jigs are from Brad's Bait and Tackle. From Brad's Custom Rods and Tackle. That you can find all of these three here. Now, you see this fish hit the hit the dark again. Now, more than likely, what I would do at this point, another quality fish. I would probably switch over to that dark jig. So you see that there's another reason to fish multiple colors is you see what the crappy kind of key in on. Now you see all three of those colors were in that water. Why did he pick that dark one out? Hey guys, we're getting ready to end this video. Uh, this is the triple threat jig video. Boom, there you go. That's, that's a lot to get out. Anyway, uh, just another method to catch crappy. Uh, I like fishing multiple jigs, and uh, you know, I was really hoping to 
hook in on two, two uh, crap at the same time. Lots of times when you fish multiple jigs, you'll catch multiple fish on them, kind of like fishing at the coast. But anyway, hey, just another method to try several colors at the same time. Uh, it looked like they were hitting the hair jig just about as good as the plastic body jig. And before I leave, I'm gonna drop a jigging spoon into these crappie just to see how they react. Uh, always like fishing with a jigging spoon. Anyway, we appreciate you watching the video. Hope you've seen something that you learned. Hope you've seen something in the video that you liked. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button below. Subscribe to the channel. That keeps us doing what we're doing. Click that like button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you on the water.